Hey everyone and welcome back. For those of you just tuning in, this is Tattoo Collectibles and I'm your host, Eric. Now before I get too far into the show, I just want to remind you guys, if you like what we're doing here, please hit the like and subscribe button uh, down below. Only takes a second and really helps us out. So this week on, uh, on Tattoo Collectibles, we've got some stuff in the mail. I've been biting at that bit, you know because I had to wait. I had to wait on uh, to open this. So uh, it is uh, going to be opened and it's going to be, it's going to be. So check this out. Uh, and I've got a big announcement. We've got our first public appearance coming up. And if you want to see this collection live, I'll tell you where you need to be this summer. What's in the mail? Okay, what's in the mail indeed. So there's two pieces of mail this week. I'm excited about both of them for obvious reasons, and uh, this one is from. We'll just get we'll just get this thing started. So, this one is from Silver Springs, Maryland. The seller on this one was super nice, super communi uh, uh, super communication. Like they sent me several messages and just kind of kept me in the loop as far as where this package was and all that. Super great. Uh, but, and they, uh, they're one of those packers. Okay. Let's get this out of there. Wow. All right. We're going to have to cut down the side too. Apparently this thing is, uh, not wanting to cooperate. That's okay. We'll do it like Christmas. There we go. Just rip this package open. All right. And then we'll get this protective sleeve off of it. The cardboard comes off. So, this, I had never seen one of these before. I think this is quite awesome. And I, it was marked somewhere, but I don't see the marking on the, hopefully it's not marked on the front. So anyway, I digress. This is a letter from Lyle Tuttle to a gentleman named Chris on October 16th, 1987, and it's on uh, Tattoo Historian Letterhead. Now, when I saw this, I was like, wow, that is, that is so cool. And that is absolutely an authentic signature. When they come, and they, well, you saw, you saw the Paul Booth reaction. Uh, but yeah, this says, it says, thanks for your order and passing our address around. Appreciate it. And as always, the info, on the tattooed attractions. They really fill in the gaps. It says, you're doing the right thing regarding addresses of tattooers in NYC. You never know who might be talking to. Number 12 will feature the Liberty family of Boston, four generations of tattooers, Captain Liberty, Ted, etc. If you have any info, please pass it on. Best regards, Lyle. And um, man, it's on nice paper. This is just, I, uh, I love this. I'm gonna frame this up uh, probably with, um, with a picture or a card. I, I like to get a couple things, you know, when I, when I go to frame stuff. So but this is just awesome. I think I paid like 35, 40 bucks for this. Never seen another one, and I'm assuming these are pretty rare. These are correspondence, so they weren't mass produced. Uh, the letterhead may have been, but, um, and it's from the 37th uh, Street address, not the, the Columbus address, which is his later one. So this is an earlier, uh, an earlier piece. I'll probably put this with a 37th uh, Street uh, card. Just beautiful though. I'll, uh, I'll get you better pictures on that. That is really a nice piece. Um, I, uh, I can't believe somebody let that go, honestly. Um, this next piece is another part of the Mannix collection. I got this from Bobby Mannix. Uh, Bobby, if you, uh, if you remember a couple, um, couple episodes ago, we did the Tuttle Mystery shirt and we found out that that shirt was one of a hundred printed and one of only 15 that he had given to Bobby Mannix and that she had put back. Well, her husband in 19, they were good friends with Lyle. Her husband in 1974 uh, photographed Lyle. He, she, from uh, what she tells me, her husband was a professional photographer. And 
them being good friends with Lyle, he said, hey, let's, uh, let's do a portrait of you. And, oh my God. And she did, uh, he did the, uh, I'm so taken back by how great this looks that uh, I lost my train of thought there for a minute and I do apologize, that's totally unprofessional. But this picture is gorgeous. It is a full length of Tuttle um, kneeling down and looking skyward. And it, it measures about 13 and a half by about 19 and a half. This is a large print. Now this is number one. This is the very first print of this. We, uh, we bought number one, two, and three. Now these are on uh, eBay right now. So you can definitely go there and grab them. She put a, an ad up for them on eBay as well. But if you wanna contact her directly, uh, here is her, uh, here's her address below me right now. Feel free and send her a message. She's super nice and super like, like I didn't go through eBay to get this. I went directly through her. And a lot of times when you're going directly through somebody, you, you wonder, like, I see guys all the time on the, um, on tattoo gear for sale. Well, not all the time, but I've seen it a couple times where they're like, sent them the money, never got the machine, what's going on? And to get that money back is, is pretty hard. When you go through eBay, it's all guaranteed through PayPal. Uh, and honestly, we went through PayPal too. As long as you don't go through friends and family, your money's guaranteed anyway. But with this lady, you do not have to worry about that whatsoever. She does what she says and she'll send it out uh, almost immediately. She had sent me pictures of ones, like, like she's got this, this photo, uh, the original photo from her husband. And uh, she went to have it, uh, to, she went to have prints made of it. And originally they put them on cardstock. And I was like, man, you know, cardstock prints of photos, uh, I'm not a big fan of. So she went back and uh, did them out of photo paper. And the ones on the photo paper just, they look fantastic. This, is, this thing is going in a frame this week by itself. This needs no other things with it. So this is part two of the Mannix collection. Now, if, if you remember, I was like, there's three things that you need to complete a Mannix collection. You need the picture, which we've got now. You need the shirt, which we've got now. We are waiting on her to do the next installment. And the next installment is one of Lyle's favorite pieces that he ever drew, I assume. Okay, and I'm assuming this because I have seen this piece on more collectibles on this show than I've seen with anything else. Uh, it's on his 70th. It's on uh, uh, his roast. Uh, it, it's on a bunch of stuff, and I, I can show you. Uh, I may go back and show you a couple pictures of the different things that it's on. Um, so that that is coming. When it comes, just grab it. With these, there are only a hundred, and the original is for sale. Now, let me tell you though, the the copies are one hundred and twenty five dollars. Uh, there's there'll be one of one hundred uh, done. So, and they're all signed and numbered. On the bottom of it, it says the Mannix Collection Lyle Tuttle Portrait, uh, one of one hundred. The original is uh, is pricey, but if there is a big dollar collector out there, she is willing to uh, to get rid of this, but don't expect her to give it away because this is a super rarity. So, and that's, that is what we had in the mail this week. Uh, what a thrilling week. This was a, a Lyle Tuttle heavy week. Some weeks are like that. I, uh, I'm a big fan of Lyle. Um, don't forget, uh, Red Sock Day is coming up March 19th, so if you have a red pair of socks, wear it that day in your tattoo shop to show solidarity and the remembrance of a fallen hero. So, that, uh, that is what we had in the mail this week. I, uh, I'm over the moon, man, about that stuff. I'm, uh, I'm super happy. Anytime I can get a one-off, um, you know, you just don't see many one-offs. So, that being said, that being uh, said about uh, never being seen, if you want to see this collection live, we are going to do a show this uh, this year. It's the first one we've ever done as far as setting up a booth and showing this collection. This collection uh, is is my personal collection. I don't unless you come into my shop. Normally, you don't see uh, this collection up close. But if you would like to, I am doing the Indie Expo this year. 
Uh, I'm going to be there with some other big time collectors. Not that I'm a big time collector because I'm not. Uh, I do have some collectibles. I do run this little show. But as far as big time collectors, there's going to be some of them there. Mike Skyvers is going to be there. He is a monster collector. So we're going to be uh, hopefully interviewing uh, uh, Mike. Uh, Buddy Wheeler from Tattoo Charlie's is going to be there. He is another, he is a monster collector. Both of these guys, big time collectors. And Nate Harmon, you all have already met him in one of my episodes. He's going to be there. It'll be good uh, reconnecting with him. I got something for him uh, that is totally un, un tattoo related, but I think he's going to dig it. And I hope he's watching and uh, this will make that excitement go through the roof for him. I got something real cool for you, Nate. So I'll see you at the, at the convention. So what I would suggest, go ahead and plan on coming to, uh, to Plainfield, Indiana, which it's, it's a suburb of Indianapolis. So we're gonna have the, uh, the expo there. There's gonna be some great artists there. There'll be some tattooing going on. There's gonna be some great collectibles there. So you should definitely, if you are into collectibles, this is one of your shows. You should definitely come to this one and check it out. Uh, and for all of those out there that are watching, like Tom Spaulding, Tom, I know you're watching out there. You should come to this show, Tom. Bring some stuff and blow these people away with it. Um, JD Crow, JD, I hope you're out there listening. And if you are, man, make plans to come to this show. It's going to be a nice one, and we're all going to have a good time. So that's all. Uh, that's all I got for you this week. I know it's kind of short. Uh, but if you're a tattooer out there, you know what time of year this is. This is tax season. And your old boy Eric is beat. I did, uh, I did a bunch of tattoos this week. So the show is going to be kind of short through tax time. Those of you who tattoo know what I'm talking about. Those of you who don't, come into the shop and I'll show you what I mean. So until next time, I want everybody out there to stay safe and keep on collecting. Thanks for watching, and please hit the subscribe button down below, and check out these videos. We've worked real hard on these too, and I think if you enjoyed this one, you'll enjoy those too.